Hey, good morning. 29 Bridges pop-up. I'm Cadence Kidwell, proprietor here at Fuzzy Goat in downtown Thomasville, Georgia. And we have Mary's beautiful yarns, three bases, and they're all already up online at fuzzygoatyarns.com. And you can text us too at 229-236-GOAT. I always stand here, I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready the night before, and then right before I hit play, I'm like, oh, I'm not ready. And then I'm like, you guys, you know, you ask questions, you make me ready. You, you inspire me to just get on there and just, and just talk. <laughs> um, okay, so but we're gonna talk about yarns. These are beautiful bases, 29 bridges. Mary now lives in uh, Maryland, so we like to call her a Southern dyer. We claim uh, Maryland and Virginia as part of the South. And so uh, people think, tend to think that yarns are only for the North, so we really try to give special privilege to those Southern dyers. And we're really super excited to have Mary. We have her yarns in the store on our, um, on regular rotation, but the pop-up is really special. And she called her her company 29 Bridges because she is from Pittsburgh, which is known for hundreds and hundreds of bridges. I think it has over 400 bridges, but she thought uh, 464 bridges didn't really roll off the tongue like 29 Bridges does. I just love the little stories behind everything. So we have her go-to sock base, and I'm gonna show you each color because we're only gonna have them for a few weeks here. And of each color, she has sent us five at most. Some of them, not even quite five. So you're gonna to wanna to snag these as I uh, show you about them. And you guys are commenting on my scarf. I love this too. This is something that Mary from 29 Bridges knit. This is Stephen West's painting honeycomb shawl and it is made she has a handy little tag here for us it is made in colorways whoops get my my basket here to be even uh cider this is curacao let's see where's tahoe i got tahoe here elsewhere yeah all right, so cider, we can use uh, uh, Curacao, if I can't put my hands on Tahoe, and rose gold. So those three colors, they're around here somewhere, <laughs> are, are made or uh, are in this. But any three colors would really work beautifully. And we can, uh, you can also text us at 239-236-GOAT, and we can put together different three color combos for you. But let's do that while we talk about these. So let's see, you could really do a pretty one here with amber, curacao, and cider. Those three would look like this. And let me get a little closer so you can see that though it looks from further away that it's solid, a solid cream base, you could see the little speckles in here and you can see them at play. You don't need to see my face close, you just need to see the yarn up close. <laughs> Um, so those three would make this and be beautiful in it. And it is a magnificent piece. Lots of fun slip stitches. It looks like it would be hard, but what makes this here is just a slip stitch that brings it up from the row below. So that's really just yummy, yummy. And it's really big. It wraps around a couple, you know, around like that. Big old triangle. Um, so that's Stephen West painting shawls, and that's a man overboard. I'll show you that one in a little bit. All right, so those are those three colors. This one here, I just love. Dream would be really pretty if you wanted to go with a dark, moodier um, option. Aubergine and Dream would be really lovely. And then if you needed a third color, you could add in, um, let's see, I probably would pop it up with Little Miss Sunshine that's me but maybe you want to keep it in a more fall mood you could go with amber also mary has sent us another sample here this one is annie baker's meridian shawl i'm just going to make a mess of the display up here i'll have to fix it later and this one look how pretty that is lots of meditative garter stitch and then down at the bottom some simple stripes so that would be really pretty also and this use is uh two skeins in up here 
and then one each down below. Though, honestly, I don't think it probably used very much of those other two skeins down at the bottom. And so I want to tell you, we have some mini skeins, but each one, each package is a different color. So we don't have those up online. But if you wanted to call and text us about the mini skeins, we can do that. Um, so you might be able to use those mini skeins down at the bottom. Or maybe you have some perfect remnants. You know how I like to keep using different colors left over from other projects as a way to revisit them. Maybe you want to get two skeins of um, go-to sock up here and then use some of your stash for down in, in the bottom part. So this Annie Baker's Meridian shawl is really lovely. Lovely, lovely. All right, what other colors have I not shown you? So, oh, look at this one here. This one is called Scotch Moss. It's a nice cream with some uh, dark, moody blues and teals and little bits of gold in there. And if you wanted to put that with something, you could do that with, I think you could go cool and use hot metal, which is this gray. Or you could, um, oh, speaking of that gray, that gray would go really pretty with, this is West End over here which is a blue with little red bits in there. Oh, let me tell you about the yardage. I didn't tell you that. Uh, it's 463 yards. And let me tell you, that's a generous skein. Uh, what's also interesting about Mary's bases is she does get them uh, wound up and, and, and they're, they're deceivingly wound uh, in, the ba in, the, in the skein tightly so they don't look like they have as much yardage as they do. But when we wind them up into the balls and, and release them, they're just exquisite. And this would be really pretty, this West End would be really pretty with Prue, which is this red here on the side. And did I show you all these colors in here? Oh, this one here, look at that one. Look how rich and vibrant, just moody that is. This one is called Under the Bridge. And you could put Under the Bridge with this aubergine here. This is aubergine. We could do this all day long. I can just put colors together. So if you have some pattern ideas. So, and like I said, we have uh, four or five of each. So that is also enough for a sweater. So if you wanted to make a fingering sweater, a ranunculus, a um, um, weekender, I'm looking at the Mount Pleasant tea that we have over there on our fingering cabinet. You see, we've got some of those patterns displayed over there. We can help you with that too. Okay, so that's the go-to sock. The other, the second base she sent us is this lovely, fluffy, fluffy, fluffy um, Surrey silk. So this is very similar to mohair, but I'm gonna tell you, I really think that Surrey is much softer. I mean, not that mohair is not soft. Some people are allergic to mohair, uh, Carolina is uh, allergic to mohair, and which is really sad because mohair comes from goats. So it's kind of sad that that's the one she's allergic to. Not wool, just the mohair. Um, but this is the Surrey, comes from alpacas, and with silk in it. And just look, look at this beautiful base of just squishiness. Okay, so what can you do with that? You can do uh, diff different things on its own, but it really shines when you hold it w or make a project together. So I brought over our um, Birds of a Feather, which is two different skeins here. Uh, we have modifications so that if you wanted to do this with one skein of um, go-to sock and one skein of the Surrey Silk, you could. And so let me tell you what the yardage is on those. Just throw my pieces over there. This is uh, sentimental. Oh, I didn't even show you sentimental. We have sentimental <laughs> in the fingering. I told you, like, I think I'm ready, and then I think I'm not. Um, and this is the sentimental on the mohair. So you could put those two together and make a um, birds of a feather. Or you could use sentimental and use this really rich Tahoe and do that. That would be really pretty too. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so we've, I've shown you Tahoe and I've shown you Sentimental. You can also, look at these, I'll show you each one. 
This one here is called front row. This has 328 yards in it and it is 74 uh, baby uh, Surrey alpaca, just that really soft little baby fur and 26% uh, silk. That's a funny percentage, right? You don't normally hear the 26%. Um, this is beautiful too. This is that color, who do you? Look at that. And then this is dream. Oh, so rich. This is rose gold, really soft blush pink. And let's see, this is scotch moss. So you can see how it, it turns out a little fuzzier. Uh, which would make sense on the uh, on the Surrey alpaca from the scotch from the fingering and what else have we got in here oh so pretty this was so fun to photograph and get up online for you uh, this is under the bridge which Nancy says she likes there so these are the Surrey alpaca they also go great with the DK that I'm going to show you in just a minute. And I'm going to put this hat on. This Maureen's been asking about this because she saw it on our uh, text yesterday. This is the Henry hat. All right, I'm going to put it on, then I'm going to take it back off but so that you can see how cute this Henry hat is with the cables in there and all that. Mary wrote this pattern herself, so she's not only, and of course i got to put it where the tag's hanging, right, like Minnie Pearl. Um, and so this uses... These two colors, um, well, let me read the tag. Let me, yeah. let me read what the tag says here. So this is uh, what you can use it holding double. So here you can use the um, DK here, this one here, Scotch Moss, and then the blue will kind of make the blue um, be darker through there and really pick up the blue and, and Tahoe in there. So this hat feels so great because it's got that Surrey alpaca and then it's the DK, which I'll show you in just a moment. So that's the Surrey alpaca. And we sure hope you love these as much as we do. We have them for a few weeks and we don't want, we really don't want to send them back to Mary. We want them to, to release and go out in the world to all of you guys. Then we have some DK. And Mary has sent this amazing, amazing soldanta. Look at that. Re I love the colors in this. This is Caitlin Hunter's soldanta pattern here. And she used five skeins of a merino DK in this. Really cute. Now, I love this color work in through here. I have seen people do it without the color work in here so that you don't have it double. Look how beautiful their color work is so that you don't have uh, extra yarn through the body and only up in the, in, in the yoke, and it, and it is really cute. Not unless you held it next to somebody wearing one that had the color work in here, would you notice that, that it was missing? So if you want to use, um, make it a little bit lighter weight uh, for us here in the South, you can just do the color work in the yoke and not through the body. And so these are the DK colors some of them will seem really familiar because we have them in the other bases. This is Scotch Moss and then Amber. And this one, I love this one. This one's Take a Hike, which is kind of a greeny, brownish copper. It's, it's so rich. I would love putting these two together. Rose Gold and Take a Hike. That would be really pretty. In fact, I wonder if that's very similar to what she's done here in her Saldanta. This is a, a color that isn't in any of the other bases. This is Dusk, kind of a taupey color, and Storm, which is a nice gray. We don't have that. And we have lots of one skein patterns for DKs, um, including my own Crescent City, which you could use um, any of these. You can make that in a solid, but I think Crescent City is always fun in a speckled or a striping yarn, so you could use that. I, you know how I feel about my greens here. This is Overt, which is really fun and zingy. That'll work. Oh, and I didn't tell you the yardage on these. These are 231 yards, and it's 100% superwash merino. So one skein will make a hat, 
uh, once again, I'm looking over at our at, over at our DK cabinet over there. Once again, we'll make Crescent City, which is up there on the boxes. It will also make a touchstone or an ingot cowl. In fact, <clears throat> ingot can look really pretty. Excuse me. And a solid because you can wear it like a shoulder cozy too, and wear it over your dresses. So that's what I got to show you today is this really beautiful pop-up, pop-up, like look how cute it looks in here, um, from 29 Bridges, who is Mary in Maryland, and she made this too. And we are here, uh, Jennifer, Melissa, and I, uh, and you can text us at 229-236-GOAT, and we can... Um, put colors together help you with pattern choices i'm also going to put the link up to our blogs we got a lot of pattern inspiration on our blogs so i'll put those links up also and madeline has done a great job of doing a monthly recap of all the patterns that we talk about on our facebook uh each month and that's on a blog also so that you can see it there so i really appreciate you guys watching us this saturday watching me put a hat on take it back off um, you know, no, uh, no vanity here, <laughs> except for I did put lipstick on for you. I will uh, see you next Saturday and let us know how we can help. Thanks.